Hello everyone. We are going to talk about modifying pivot and how to snap in Maya. You can quickly change pivot and snap any object right where they are needed and create objects with very perfection. Just like this object. So you can see there is no gap in it. It is looks like a single object. It is perfectly snapped. If you do it manually, you will see some gap. Okay, let's try doing it manually. So you can see the objects are intersecting with each other, each other. So there is a chance you won't get it perfect always. You can end up like this. So the snapping is always a perfect way to snap your objects. Let's start with changing pivot. You can change pivot of any object. So first you need to select your object and there is two shortcut to enter in pivot modification. So you need to press D or insert key on the keyboard. Once you press that, you will see your gizmo change. It will look something like this. Once it start looking like this, that means you can toggle or modify your pivot. So if you move this, your object won't move. What are you moving? You're moving pivot of the object. So you can fix the pivot by pressing D or insert. Once you are done with modifying your pivot, let's say I want to put it right here. Once you're done with modifying your pivot, you can again press D or insert key. Once you press them again, you see the pivot modification, the unique kind of gizmo the tool has disappeared. And now you can see your active tool back, whatever it is rotation or scale or move. So once if I move it, it's moving from this point. So what makes the difference? The difference is here in rotation. Now it's rotating from somewhere else. If I duplicate it, you can see so we can do a lot of stuff by just modifying the pivot. Uh, it's also used in lots of, there are a lot of use in rigging and camera animation. Sometime you need to modify pivot and do some different stuff. So what else if you have messed up your pivot, like you want it to be back in the center where it rotates perfectly. So there is an option, you go to modify, and there is an option pivot center pivot you click on it and the pivot goes back to center now if i rotate it rotates perfectly yeah if i press 3 it rotates like a ball so the pivot is in center that proves so that's it for the pivot modification so next is snapping so you can, uh, when you see in your menu, on the top of the menu, there are these five options. These are the snapping option. So we are going to focus on mainly these three snapping and the last one. So let's start with the first one. This is a grid snapping. You can, it is also known as grid intersection. So here you can see first, the grid snapping once i activate it you can see your gizmo changes i'll do it again watch it closely so from the square in the center it converts into circle that means some kind of snapping is on and it will snap to the grid so these are the grid points if i move it in a one axis if i select an axis and move it will snap into that axis if I move it in Z, it is snap into Z. If I move it in Y, so there is no grid here, but where it is snapping. So if I switch to four view, you can see grids actually exist everywhere. It goes till infinity. So it will always snap somewhere or the other. Let's go back to the perspective view. So if I want to the snap it to the grid, so if my X axis is selected, it will only snap in X axis. If my Y axis is selected, it will only snap in Y axis. So goes for the Z axis. 
and if you select the center it's yellow right now and you use either you move from center it is snap right away on the grid the visible grid on the viewport and if you can just press middle mouse away from but your axis must be selected always be sure you none of your axis is selected its center is selected if y is selected it will only snap in y wherever you click wherever you move wherever you go it won't change its axis so always be sure how you're using your tool so i select in the middle and i snap so it's nice to create random patterns and so let's move to the next i'll turn it off next is curve snapping so what it does it snap all the objects onto any curve if i go to curve i'll create some curve path random path okay that would be enough so the curve snapping is off so this is box it won't snap i'll turn on the curve snapping i'll select the middle if i just do the middle click it's not snapping because it's not catching any snapping how does it work you will find it hard to work okay it doesn't work always perfectly you need to pay attention when you are using curve snapping so you see uh, in your marker there is a box if i middle click here it won't snap if i middle click here it won't snap if i middle click here but if i middle click here it will snap so how does it work the the box shows what uh, what i am going to select so whatever is inside that box the cursor box it is going to be selected so your curve need to be inside that small tiny box then it will only snap so first select the middle let's move it away and then middle click now i can see my curve is in the middle of that cursor the box if i click and move a little bit it snaps now wherever my cursor go it won't leave the curve it will always stay on the curve i'm using middle mouse button to move from the center same goes with the axis let's try with the axis first we need to move it away if i select my z axis and let's try it so it's not moving away from the point where i selected so this is how it goes in curve it snap only for one point it doesn't move like we do it for three axis if i one axis is selected only one axis will move so it change so it will go wherever your curve goes okay it's not changing the curve here it's only moving with the same curve you can also keep it in mind let's move to the next topic so the next is point snapping right next to the curve snapping you can just toggle it now it won't snap on curve it snaps on any point on the surface sorry any point on the maya in the maya it can be a vertex it will also let's see it is snapping to almost every vertices on this sphere what else it will snap it will also snap on joints if i create a joint so now my curve snapping is on it's also snapping on the joints it will also snap on the locators it will also snap on the clusters so this is your point snapping it will snap anywhere it will work the same way if you select your axis like if i select my x axis it will snap x axis of the any vertices you can see it if if the z is selected it will snap z axis of the any vertices so the next and the last is making live object so what is making live object let's turn off the point snapping let's get rid of this joint setup 
so last is make live if i select this okay if you click if nothing is selected if you click on this it won't work okay you need to select an object and then collect click on this it will convert convert your selected object into a live object what will happen it will turn on curve snapping and the point snapping and the face snapping like anything on the selection if anything is there selected it will automatically snap on it it's not like it's snapping on a vertex or edges it will just snap anywhere on the object you can see it's moving very freely on the object it's not like snapping to point to point like in the case of vertices snap right let's make it live again okay what's the benefit of being a live object if you create anything it will create on that object so if you have noticed if you create a curve or a cube anything it used to create on the grid but when you make something live you can directly draw on top of that geometry because it's a live if you do any modification it will still stay on that sphere it won't go away from the sphere here see it always stay on the live object you can do a lot of stuff like with that if i just start modifying this cube you will see all the vertices will start snapping on top of this sphere and if i isolate that we will find something weird so this is all the snappings you can do a lot of stuff with that so let's try build something with the help of modifying pivot and snapping so we don't need live object let's start with cube so okay there are another thing shortcuts you can always use shortcuts for snapping so the first is grid snapping the shortcut for grid snapping is x so i press x on my keyboard and the grid snapping activates as soon as i left my x on the keyboard the grid snapping is gone so you need to hold the snapping key where you want to snap i want to snap on grid i press and hold x key and middle mouse where i want to snap so i don't really need to go and turn on the snapping key and it will move on its own next is curve snapping you need to press c for curve snapping doesn't matter where the object is make sure your middle is selected not any axis are selected this is also count as curve edges so i press c and middle mouse on this edge you can see the object is snapping here i'm not going on turn activating it manually my c is on i am pressing the c entire time next is vertex snapping let's scale it down now when i press v on the keyboard the vertex snapping activates and as soon as i click it goes there so keep remember guys x c v on the keyboard they are next to each other they are meant for snapping so that's it for today we'll meet again in the next video thanks for joining